Kevin, I can't believe our day is finally here. I've had a long time to think about what I wanted to write in this letter, fully knowing that one piece of paper could never capture the way I feel about you and our relationship. I think back to our high school days when we were just friends, but knew we had that spark between us. Fast forward to today, and here we are. We finally made it to this day. I cannot believe that I had found a person that inspires me and supports me in everything that I do. I found someone who would make the time for me, smile with me, laugh with me, and dream with me. I promise you today and for the rest of time to be everything for you that you have been for me. I promise to get up every morning for the rest of our lives and choose you. You are my one true love and my favorite person on this earth. See you at the end of the aisle. Kevin, I couldn't be happier. You are kind, loving, and so supportive. You're everything a dad could wish for for his daughter. Jenna, I accept my position as number two, but I will always be a close number two. I love you. I, Kevin, take you, Jenna, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. I, Jenna, take you, Kevin, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Back when I was ten years old With a rose and a valentine I thought that love was bought and sold With candy hearts to say be Two, three summers ago, the summer before COVID We met up with Kevin and Jenna and my parents at the Canfield Fair And we were having a great time My parents and I were driving together in our own car And everyone knows how the parking is at the Canfield Fair You just park in the rows and the cornfields Kevin was driving this obnoxiously green Jeep. And we're driving home in the car. My mom goes, oh, I wonder where Kevin and Jenna parked. We're maneuvering our way. And we see the bright green Jeep. And my mom gets so excited. She goes, oh, there's Kevin and Jenna. Let's stop and just, you know, like say hi one last time. They are making out so hard in the front seat of the green Jeep. We stopped and the four of us we were like, and then we're like, go, go, go. My mom's like, we don't want him to see us, no. So we, we were right in front of them for like five solid seconds and they did not see us. The fact that the only thing I have to make fun of Kevin on after all these years is how much he loves Jenna and how much time he wants to spend with her says all you need to know about Kevin. Kevin was never the annoying younger brother. He was always the person that everybody wanted to have around. And I can think of a million stories of like my friends or John's friends or whoever it was. It's like, when's Kevin coming? Like, oh, is, is Kevin going to come hang out? Kevin's actually hanging out with my friends when I actually live across the country. And I, I like call my friends and they're like, oh, hey, they hand my phone over to Kevin. So I, I can think of so many other things that like about Kevin. He's smart. He's funny. He's loving. He's caring. He's wise beyond his years. And I think of all of these things that Kevin's done and all of these great things, and the smartest and the wisest decision that he's made is to spend the rest of his life with Jenna. Jenna, you're, you're a perfect fit for our family. You, you're the last fit for our family, and we are so happy to have you. Just like everybody loves having Kevin around, everybody loves having you around as well. And, and we really do mean that as a family, and we are so happy to have you. I really, really love Jenna, and she honestly is one of my best friends. We've been more like sisters than cousins. 
I was making my annual trip to Chicago and Jenna told me that she was dating Kevin. I was not surprised at all that they found their way back to each other. The more I've gotten to know them as a couple, the more I know that Jenna has found her perfect fit in Kevin. I also sent Kevin a 50 questionnaire for Jenna's bachelorette party, which he enthusiastically filled out. And I asked him, you know, what, what was the reason that you, know, you knew Jenna was the one? And he talked about how they were able to make their relationship work, even through, you know, through opposite ends of the world. And Kevin, I can promise you that Jenna will always challenge you to be your best, and she will always have your back through every stage of your lives together. One of the most important relationships and the longest relationship you have in your life is with your sibling. Jenna really internalized and uh, acted accordingly on that thought at a very young age. Jenna, being the older sister, she was my protector and she always had my back. Most importantly, she had my back when our grandparents passed away. And we were very close with them. Now, Kevin, I must say, you have blended seamlessly with our family. Marriage is not a destination, but a journey. And Kevin, I promise you, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what happens, my sister will have your back unconditionally, no matter what. Because of you